Hello everyone, this is Daryl20 and welcome to episode 10 of Daryl20 Sky Factory 4 Let's Play series. Um, where today I want to totally make this process super better. That's the plan. Uh, that's what we're going to do. That's what I want to do and I'm excited to do it. Because uh, I, I, for the last couple episodes, been trying to like rack my brain on how I'm going to automatically process um, all this good stuff that we're getting. And uh, it finally, I finally came up with a solution that I think will both be relatively easy for my current tech level and relatively really cool and work. So that's kind of the plan. Um, so I'm going to cook up three more of you. Um, and we're also going to grab a couple more buckets of lava and water. Because... Or no, you stay in there. <laughs> Cool. Because I am excited to start fully automating things, right? Like, we spent a good number of episodes kind of just, you know, doing a lot of manual stuff. And that's not the way Dyer likes to operate. That's not what Dyer wants to do. Dyer doesn't want to be fed. He wants to hunt. Oh, good. There's more items. No, those are fluid ducks. That's right. Uh, so, that's what we're going to do. Today, we're going we're gonna to hunt. We're going to hunt for automation. And that's the fun we're going to have. So... Uh, ideally, by the end of the episode, my goal is to have fully automated all the trees that we at least currently have. Uh, it may require a little bit of work, but it should be worth it. And uh, then we can get into figuring out what's next, because we have to figure it out. There's a lot of mods in this pack that I've never played with before, and I'm kind of interested in messing with, right? Um, so let's get ourselves some item ducks and get ready to roll. So as a reminder, there are... Um, five types of items you can get from these trees when they grow wood and sticks which we already have covered in the back though i do need to add uh, void upgrades to them um then you also get the acorns and the resin which are used to make the actual resources that you need um and then there's the leaves and then occasionally you can get something extra like gravel trees occasionally give you flint and um bone meal trees for example occasionally give you bone meal so those are things we're going to have to deal with as well. So there's a lot of management of resources that are going to come into play here in just a minute. How did all this stuff get added to my to-do list? I don't remember any of this being added. What is going on here? I did update the pack, so maybe that's why. I, that might be why. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of it all. So we definitely need some filters. Uh, so I'm going to try to get myself a Signalum filter. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get resonant just yet, because we don't have Ender Pearls, and that's usually the main ingredient, right, in resonant. Um, so that might be, yeah, resonant Ender, right, which is going to be straight up just Ender Pearls or anything Ender-related. Though Enderman Seeds, that's a small amount, though. That doesn't seem worthwhile, right? Um... So we'll do Signalum, right? Because that seems like a good time. Um, so we're going to try to work towards the Signalum filter right now. So we're going to get some destabilized redstone, molten silver, molten copper. Now this thing can't combine liquids, right? Um, but there's a thing that can. Porcelain melter, porcelain alloy tank. Alloys liquids from adjacent porcelain tanks and melters. Place above a porcelain heater to fuel. Okay, from adjacent. Okay, so does that mean it has to go here? Porcelain alloy tank needs two faucets and pretty much anything. All right, so I should have some of the stuff that we need. Like I have another heater, right? Uh, the solid fuel heater, that is. So that might be able to work. I might need a liquid fuel heater, but we'll figure that out. Unfired porcelain, because we're going to need at least one more of you. Oh, that's right. I, uh, I updated the pack, which means some of the settings that I like to tweak are set back to defaults. All right, so uh, give me that bone meal and maybe a piece of clay so we can get some more porcelain, right? And then we should be able to get two porcelain faucets. That can be smelted up. Uh, and then we just need some form of something, right? So whatever, it doesn't really matter. Because um, we have a bunch of porcelain ingots laying around here from when I made them originally, right? Uh, so porcelain gauge, porcelain window, what's something that I can use here that would be cheap? Porcelain tank probably is fine. Cool. Alright, so porcelain melter, or 
smelter or alloy tank, you get the deal. Goes here, right? So now, three copper, one silver, and a redstone, I think, is the combination that I want to go with. So we might have to need more copper ingots. I'm going to try and put away some other stuff for the time being. And we'll let this thing keep doing its thing. So you should be good with lead. We've got more copper. I think we've got some silver in here, right? Tin, cottonwood, gold, amber, and var. Okay, no silver. So, hey, do me a favor and start working on copper for me in Richmond Chamber. I should look at upgrading those dudes too, to be fair. Um, that would probably be smart. Do what now? Bonsai pot. Hopping. Oh, you're not a hopping bonsai pot? How did that happen? Well, there's a dire derp for you. I'm also noticing, though, that, like, right-clicking it doesn't seem to do a whole lot. I might have to do a few of these manually just because, um, issues and whatnot. Uh, bonsai plot. Yeah, really? Really? Really, though? Did I do that? That feels like a derp. Feels like just a tiny little derp. Do I have any more iron? Now, remember, iron's the one that, like, we're really choking on right now. That's the resource we really don't have a lot of, um, unfortunately. Though it looks like we've got a little bit more, so that's nice. Got that going for us. So I drop you on the ground, I pick that up, and then uh, let's put away some other stuff that I hopefully don't need right now. Like iron nuggets, gold nuggets, this lever can go away. That should be fine. All right. Get us a chest. That'll free up an inventory slot, and then we can go put this stuff back. You and you. All right, so I need to get a little bit of silver, but that shouldn't be too big of an ask, right? Because um, I have what I need. So we'll let that thing cook up its existing stuff. Let's get our silver sapling. I wouldn't mind a crook just to make sure we have a backup of this silver sapling. Uh, just because you never know. Hey look, water particles work again. That's cool. That lets me know things are working. Nice. A couple saplings, so that's good enough for me. Let's put you here. Because technically I only need a couple pieces of silver for this. Oh. I was like, why is my axe all of a sudden slow? Ah, mouse wheel. Mouse wheel got me. Alright, one more of those trees should be enough to get a little bit of silver at least. Hooray! So I think I'm going to have, basically, if I properly set up all my, my item ducting, we should be good to get everything set up the way we want it to. And that should be nice. Okay. Uh, so you go away, you go away. I've got a netherrack acorn in here for some reason. But there's, oh, clay resin. Oh my goodness, I have such a junk. So much junk in my inventory. I should spend five minutes cleaning it out. Really, I should. All right, now you get to work, and we'll come back after some processing of, of resources. How's that sound? All right, so this might be a good idea. Let's see if I can get this tier installer going. Boop. Nice. Split on, please. There we go. I just tripled my production. Huzzah. How cool is that? All right, now I'm going to triple it again, but on the enrichment chamber guy. I could do some speed upgrades too if I wanted to, but I was just looking for like low hanging fruit, something that was easy to to get going, right? Um, so you could be split on, and then if we throw the actually we're pretty good here, I think at this point. So we'll let you keep doing your thing. Nice, nice, right? Cool, I like it. All right, so with that taken care of now we should have the resources to kind of get going on some things. So let's try this smelter thingy and see if it works out. So 250 millibuckets of redstone should be 
Now, there might need to be a heat source under this porcelain alloy tank, but we're not sure, right? So I'm going to pop you in there. That's your 250 millibuckets, right? No, that's 100. Okay. So we're going to need three of you to match that 250 need, okay? And then we're going to need three coppers and one silver, right? Um, now, this thing doesn't have a UI, this, this alloy tank thing, right? So I'm hoping that by it existing, it's going to allow these these liquids to combine into here. I may need to pipe the liquid into here though. I'm not sure. So yeah, it doesn't let that go in. So what if we instead, and I'm gonna have to make a little bit of a mess here, right? But what if we put this here, right? Um, and then and then poured that stuff, right? I think that's probably a good approach. Maybe that's what we have to do. I'm just guessing based on, you know, I, I don't know that I don't know what it's based on. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have an end to that sentence. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Period. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not not entirely sure what's up, but we'll figure it out. So hey, can I have that hopper now? That would be super cool. Turn you into a hopping bonsai. Not sure how that uh, escaped my 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 gaze, but a dire derp to be sure. Not that it's the end of the world, right? Silver is not too much of a crisis for me. There you go, silver sapling, hooray! And porcelain, right? So I'm hoping what I do is this. All right, so I was wrong about that too. Porcelain alloy tank, how do you work? Um, alloys, liquids from adjacent porcelain tanks and melters. Place above a porcelain heater to fuel. Adjacent porcelain melters or porcelain tanks. So what if we got a porcelain tank? That should be possible. Did I put my porcelain away already? Right, because if I can... Hmm. Do you think... Do you think the liquids have to be in each tank individually? That would be really annoying, right? It would be. All right, I think I have an idea of what's supposed to happen here. Um, so we're going to try something. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to have a porcelain tank that we're going to pour the molten redstone into. And I'm assuming that you're going to retain the molten redstone when I do that, right? Uh, and then you've got the copper, which we're going to pour into another porcelain tank. Okay, and I'm going to see if I'm right about how this works, because I think I understand this now. <clears throat> and then we're going to put the redstone here, we're going to put the copper here, and we're going to put the alloy tank here, and then we're going to put the silver in this guy, and then we've got the three pieces of the of the recipe that go together adjacent all three of them being adjacent to the porcelain tank now the porcelain tank may need a heat source under it i'm assuming it does to do the actual alloying process um yes i'm assuming it does mostly because it's not working right now so let's get uh, a bucket of lava and another porcelain tank Which needs a little bit of glass. You know, just give me all the sand. Smelt it all up, buddy. Be my guest. Actually, I could probably just put this here. Porcelain tank with lava in it and uh, alloy tank. Yes? Come on, that's got to be how it works, right? That's got to be how it works. Come on, bro. Porcelain tank of molten copper. I'm going to 
rearrange all this, right? And we'll get everything back to look in semi nice if we can. Um, so the heat with the lava in it, right? That technically probably needs to go here. Uh, and then the alloy tank should go here, here, and here. That, I really expect that to work. Urgh. I don't know why it's not though. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Signalum is off the table at the moment. Does that sound fair? So uh, Electrum it's gonna have to be. That I think is what's up. So let's get a couple Electrum ingots here from the alloy smeltery, alloy furnace thingy from Nuclear Craft. And that should be cool, right? You're probably getting pretty full, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with you in a minute. So what I need is filters, right? So in addition to filters, um, we're gonna also need the paper, which we can just get from sugarcane, which uh, I happened to go take a peek at my sugarcane out there. And like cactus, <laughs> it gets a little big. Oh my goodness, that is sugarcane, all right. Holy cow, hilarious. Hey, who's uh who's hanging out? Who's hanging out inside my animal farm? Oh, it's uh it's Vadis three sixty five. What's up, bro? How's it going? You don't seem to be uh too hostile. I'll let you live there for a little bit. See what happens. So far, not hostile at least. All right, you done with the electrum? Thanks, bro. Let's get uh filters. So what we need is three of you, and then I need that glass that I just smelted up. I'm gonna need to do something about glass and sand and whatnot. Um, but I don't think we're gonna have too much of a problem because that's what we're setting up now is all the automation for this. So what I wanna do then is get my trash can from over here, which in fairness, I could have just made another one, but I already had one, so why not? Um, and you, sir, need to be filtered. Right, so you're gonna be a whitelist. And I might need to have multiple filters here because everything that needs to go into here is going to be the leaves and the saplings, right? But unfortunately, we have to specify every leaf and sapling. We can't just say, you know, leaves and saplings. We have to say, you know, iron leaves. We have to say sand leaves. We have to say coal leaves. That's why I was trying um, to get, you know, what I could to make this as easy as possible. But it's. That's why I wanted Signalum, because I think that would give me more filter slots, right? Um, but unfortunately, right, so if we want sky leaves, right, there's a lot of them. Now, I don't necessarily have all these, but I do have a majority, to be fair. I have almost all of them. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 24, 28. Uh, divided by nine. So, so we basically need three filters plus one. Um, so three reinforced filters to get all leaves covered. And then it's gonna be the same for saplings. Ba -dum -bum -bum. So that's a thing. Um, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna focus on that. So for now, let's get, let's get everything we can here. I'm, I'm gonna clean up my inventory because it's just driving me nuts. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna make four more of these things. Okay, not true, because I'm short on sand. Uh, comically short on sand and sand resin, please. Uh, you to you to you, and then smelt me up some, would you? Cool, mostly got my inventory relatively in a decent sort of place. Cool. Uh, so that means you guys should be good and we're cool. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add filters to this thing, right? Because ultimately what we want, um, I should be able to do this. And this. And this. You know what, I'm gonna put it here. Hey, you're, oh right, you need to be whitelisted, you need to be whitelisted, and you need to be whitelisted. Cool? See how clever? Yeah, Dyer knows what he's doing. Setting these to whitelist will enforce that they only get the things they're supposed to get, which is what we want. 
and whitelist you. Right, so everything should be pulled vacuum wise to this inventory if it's wood or stick. And then everything should be pulled here if it matches any of these whitelisted filters. They're going here because they got pulled before the whitelist went into place, right? So that's cool. So now what we need is the actual items that are gonna be voided, right? Which is this inventory of stuff, right? So technically I need six sides of this because we're going to need six sides would give us 27, right? Because nine times three would give us 27 times two. And there's 28 different types of trees. So we're almost perfect with the amount that we need, right? But 27 will be good. If we if we skip one of the tree types, which we will probably skip stone, to be fair, because we don't need stone anymore. We don't really need petrified. So if we skip stone, then we should be able to cover all the different tree types and we should be cool, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is add these leaves and saplings to the whitelist, right? Right, so that's five of those. Gravel, clay, sand, dirt, and netherrack. Gravel, clay, sand, dirt, and netherrack, right? And then we'll do the same for the saplings. I'll put these in the back here, right? So see how the leaves now? Check that out, that's what's up. Cool. Right, so now what we should be left with is only things like flint and nether quartz, right? Nether quartz being an extremely rare drop from netherrack. Um, and then the acorns, right? So the last thing we're gonna need um, is going to be, how do I wanna do this now? What I'm thinking is we'll probably want at least, so we said we can do three different types of trees per um, filter, right? Or per per packager, right? So for the packager, okay, wherever I put it, it's got to be around here somewhere. I made one, remember? And I was playing with it. What did I do with it? There it is. That's right. So the packager, okay, and then the energy. We'll probably put packagers probably around here. So. If, Let's say that we need 27 types, right? That means we need nine packagers in total, eventually, once we get all the different tree types, right? Theoretically, that is accurate. Yes, that should be accurate. And we might need to do some kind of blacklisting. That might be actually a trick. Because we don't want nether quartz and flint to go into here. So what we should probably do is put another vacuum pipe here with a whitelist for things like nether quartz and flint and they'll go into this chest and that'll mean everything else will make its way towards a packager the only problem is is i actually have to filter the packagers don't i yes i actually do have to whitelist the packagers because we don't want things like we don't want netherrack acorns and netherrack resin going to any packager there's going to be a netherrack packager so we have to whitelist each individual packager um, with a filter. So that shouldn't be too bad. So what we should instead have is a vacuum item duct here. Um, and then we can clear out this space a little bit. See, that still looks good. I'm trying to keep it looking nice. I'm trying to keep it looking nice. Not always succeeding, but trying. Um, and we might rearrange this stuff right this was kind of like because this could go like into the floor to be fair um but i was trying to you know keep the keep this little temple place halfway decent looking but now i'm questioning like does it look better by keeping the the structure of the building in place or does it look better by hiding the tubes but whatever watching items fly flow through item conduits is fun too all right so then what we'll need to do is have more packagers which is not a hard recipe at all for our current tech level so let's get like the nine packagers we need right that should be easy peasy because I should have a bunch of lapis. Boom. And bone meal. Bada bang. And there's maybe even... Did I bone meal trees? Nah, I don't. But there should be a bone meal thingy over here. Yeah, some. Alright, so if I want eight more packagers... 32? That's 16, right? Actually, yeah, we are super close to having enough. But not quite. I need like one more lapis which I might be able to make happen. I should, assuming I didn't have another 
Dire Derp of Lapis Proportions. There you go. So that should become that, should become that. Cool. 16, 16, 32, right? And then we need uh, 18 of these. And then we need 18 of those, right? That should be cool. I mean, technically that, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. I masked the lapis one correctly. I masked the furnaces and crafting tables wrong. Doesn't matter. I wasted a little bit of wood and stone. Oh. Crisis. Crisis averted. Alright, so how do we want to do this then? Kind of wouldn't mind bumping this back one more level. Alright, good to know that you're a thing here. So a 3x3 three three here would probably be cool. That works. Yeah. Now we need to power it. Right? And we need the item conduiting. Right? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, we'll power it from the bottom and we'll item conduit in uh, from the top. Now the trouble is going to be item conduiting it out. Because I'd love, I might have to manually pull stuff out until what I can do is eventually get a signal and plated item duct, which will allow me to have item end or a retriever. I'm not sure if a retriever can pull from a spot that has a filter on the top, but I'm suspecting it can. So, yeah, we should be able to do it with a retriever or an item plated, but for now it's going to have to be manual. Okay. So, let's get power going into these bad boys. With probably going to need a couple more lead. We need at least one more set of leadstone item conduits, right? So, we should have pretty much everything we need for that. Yes, excellent. Okay, and then we come over to here. As Dyer tries not to destroy the temple too much, but fails miserably. Gotta give props to the temple designer though, because temple has plenty of workspace area. Cool. Okay, and then you come up here. And in fact, what I'm going to do is something along those lines. Cool. I like that. I wasn't exactly sure what the pattern was here, so I'm going to be a little making a kind of an attempt to make it look cool still. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah, not too shabby. All right, I'll take it. All right, so all you all should have power now, right? Now we need more filters, right? We get, we're going to need filters that have a total of six items each. Um, those will probably be Invar filters, if my one would be guessing. Invar filters hopefully have six, right? That's next really cool. Right, so we can do that. Okay, and then we're going to have to deal with the overflow of nickel. The overflow of acorns is probably going to be a problem. So we're going to want to make sure that whatever filter we use, we can specify the maximum number of items that are allowed per slot. Yes, yes, we need to do that. We need to do that because what's going to eventually happen is we'll eventually have too many acorns. So I'm not sure if Invar can do that for the filter. So let's test that with one filter of Invar. And if it can, cool. And if not, we're going to have to do um more of the reinforced right and let's not forget also that we're going to totally need uh one of these dudes down here set to whitelist because we're going to eventually need all six sides of this trash can covered right so don't forget that 
But let's get an invar one, uh, which I think I've got some invar, so we should be able to test this pretty quickly. Uh, invar. And filter. You don't. Okay, so that's good to know. So now I know we need, uh, ultimately we're going to need nine Electrum dudes, right? Which means we're going to need more silver and gold. So let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here and we'll come back next time with everything prepped that we need, right? Um, and then once that's good... Oh yeah, we got plenty. Because uh, we basically not need, you know, nine of this and nine of that. We have, I'm pretty sure we're good on gold, right? Yeah, we are. We're good on gold for now. So I'm going to cook up the uh, silver. We'll alloy it into gold and electrum and all that good stuff, right? Because we're going to need eight. No, we're going to need nine of you, right? And then we're going to also need nine silver. Oh, don't, don't, don't basic smelting factory. Sorry. Wrong thing. You should have been in the enriching factory. Yeah, my bad. Actually, you can stay there for the moment. Yeah, so we'll come back next time and we'll get all this good stuff cooking. For now, that was my signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.